Here I have another recurrence relation. I'm going to solve this using a generating function. This is actually the same example as I had in my very first video. And in that video, I was able to solve this using inspection, just looking at the first terms and induction to verify my result. And I found that f of n is equal to n factorial times an arbitrary constant, which represented the zeroth term of the sequence. Um, so the reason I'm coming back to this example is just because it illustrates something about generating functions that my previous examples didn't. So, and that is, how do you choose a generating function? Um, so I'm going to do a first attempt here that is going to fail. Um, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did in the previous examples. I'm going to let f of x, my generating function, just be a series um, where I just use each term of the sequence as a coefficient. So if I write that out, that looks like f0 plus f1x plus f2x squared, like this. Um, and so now I've got my standard tools for uh, finding out something about f of x. The goal is to find out a differential equation in terms of f of x. And so what I can do is I can apply uh, my recurrence relation, and then I'll find that f of x is equal to um, the same thing, except now I'm replacing f sub n with n f sub n minus 1. And you can notice that it wasn't actually necessary here to uh, pull out the zeroth term because when n is equal to zero, this is just going to go away because of this n here. So starting at this is the same as starting it at n equals one. So if I start there, I have I'm going to have f zero when n is equal to one times x to the one plus f now when n is equal to 2, I'm going to have 2 times f1x squared. It gets pretty complicated here. It's going to look like this. And so now what I want to do is I want to look at what kind of... The next step would, gen would generally be like differentiating or something. But here you can see that... Um, if I differentiate this term, for example, I'm going to have 2 times 2 f1x. And here I'm going to have 3 times 3 f2x squared. So it looks like these coefficients are the reciprocals of what I actually want them to be. So that's not a problem because I could just start over and so for second attempt I could just make my generating function a little different. I could just, instead of using the coefficients as um, f sub n, I can make them 1 over f sub n. So I could say x to the n over f sub n. And actually, um, you can notice that when I apply star, I'm going to end up having an n in the denominator, and I don't want that 0. so. I'm actually going to pull out the zeroth term here. So I'm going to have 1 over f0 plus the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of x to the n over f sub n. Um, and so if I, if I wrote this out, this would just be 1 over f sub 0, that's this one, plus x over f1 plus x squared over f2 etc. Um, so now, same technique, whoops, I started writing, writing attempt, I'm going to apply, so I'm going to apply my recurrence relation, and so I'm intentionally leaving this uh, zeroth term out of it because I don't want to apply the recurrence relation to there, otherwise I would have a zero in the denominator can do that. So I'm just going to do it to the rest of them here. So leaving this t 
top part alone, and then I'm just replacing this f sub n with n f sub n minus 1. And so if I look at this, this is just going to be 1 over f0 plus, uh, let's see, that would be x over f0 plus x squared over 2f1 plus x cubed over 3f2. And so now you can see that if I were to differentiate this, this 3 would cancel this 3, this 2 would cancel this 2. Um, the n cancels the n in the denominator there. So now if we look at what is f prime of x, uh, our constant term goes away, just left with the series. This is going to be x to the n minus 1. The n's are going to cancel, and then this is just over f sub n minus 1. So I guess I'll write it out. So this one goes away. You're just left with 1 over f0 plus x over f1 plus x squared over f2, etc. And this is my original series. So I get the differential equation f of x is equal to f prime of x. Um, so interestingly, this is the same differential equation I got from that other problem, which is slightly different, and it's just because my generating function is slightly different. Now I'm using f sub n as the denominator, there I was using it in the numerator. So anyway, so we get, so f of x is just going to be constant e to the x, which is the same as a sum going from 0 to infinity, the c over n factorial x to the n. And so then we see that the coefficients of f of x, which are 1 over, it's this 1 over f sub n, must be equal to these coefficients here. So we have c over n factorial must be equal to 1 over f sub n. And so anyway, if you flip that, you get f sub n must be equal to uh, n factorial over c, but since c is an arbitrary constant, I can just write, I'll just write like c2 or something times n factorial. Um, yep, so that's how you, so basically the technique for choosing a generating function is just um, try one, screw up, see what you need to do, and try a different one.